Hey everybody, how's it going man? My name is Fossey and this is State of Mind. This is a new um, adventure which came out uh, a few uh, a few seconds ago and it's from Dead Lake Entertainment and I really like them. They uh, made some, some great some great content um, and just remember Memoria for example or Deponia and The Whispered World, Night of the Rabbit. Um, so these were some, some really good games. And um, yeah, so this is a new game uh, which is uh, out of the narrative mind of uh, Michael Gantefer and he developed uh, such games like uh, The Moment of Silence for example, which was a super good game with a super nice story. And this is a new cyberpunk narrative adventure which sets in uh, the year 2048 and it's about a dystopian world. Um, I mean, yeah, it's very futuristic. You can uh, see it in the, the background. This thing here is uh, super annoying. Dude. You, you don't need to include this here, guys. Um, anyway. Yeah, and um, it has a very dystopian, dark character, dark touch. And um, I watched the preview and it looked very promising. And now I'm gonna play it. So, let's hop right through the game. So yeah, as I said earlier, I I, uh, I love uh, these games here from Dead Lake Entertainment. I think they're really, really good with a great story and all. Yeah, yeah, everything's fictional. Sure. Berlin, 2048. Yeah, it's uh, centered in uh, in Germany because it's a German developer. But I'm playing on English, of course. Not Michael, Martin, sorry, Martin. I really like this uh the cyberpunk touch here. I mean basically it's uh it's kind of purple everything, you know these uh these purple colors. And here is uh is greenish, green bluish. Really cool. And this game has a very distinct um, art style, as you can see. So apparently there are not super many action scenes in this game, but the narrative part should be should be really good here. So it's more like a telltale kind of a story story driven adventure. Too high, ma'am. Blood pressure. Too high. And his beta levels? Too high. James? Your son is extraordinarily gifted. Damn, where have I seen his face before? That's Richard Nolan, ma'am. He's with The Voice. <laughs> the Voice? Okay. on damn stabilizers now all right begins very action-packed here 
at least in the cutscene. Yeah, I thought uh, um, I... Uh... Mr. Nolan? Richard, can you hear me? Where am I? You're in the central hospital. Can you open your eyes? I can't see anything. Don't worry. Your sight will return soon. Okay. A drone found you on the side of the M75. We'll begin with a sight test, and then I'll ask you a couple of questions. All right. I'll create a glowing object in the room now. Do you see that? Try to concentrate your eyes on that object. Yeah, it's here. Sure, man. Good. Again. Here. Right. Very good. Your sight will return to normal soon. We're going to do some tests. Cognitive, emotional, memory. It won't take long. Do you know what date it is? Uh, yeah, sure. It's, uh, I mean... I know it's uh, 2048, was uh, in the opening scene. Saturday, 11th of January, 2048. Very good, that's correct. I will now say a short sentence and then ask you a question about it. Ready? My eyes are blue, my hair is brown, my house is white. Which three colors did I mention? Uh, blue, white and brown, right? Blue, white and brown? Very good, that's right. Can you tell me what happened? What? What happened? My family. Where are they? You can't remember anything? Uh, chaos, nothing, car accident. I mean, yes, it was, uh, it wasn't car accident. Um, apparently, I mean, uh, the car was involved. I was... in a car? There was a tunnel. Give it time. You're in good physical health. You were very lucky, Richard. Now I'm going to reconnect a part of your AR system. Whoa. Uh, Augmented vision, okay. Unpleasant, isn't it? Your eyes and your brain will have to get used to it again. Can you stand up? Please follow me to the table. All right. Uh, okay, I guess the... Ah, wait a minute. Just one second here. Need to adjust the mouse sensitivity a tiny bit. All right. Let's see. Okay. Um. Take the cube from the left side of the table. Make it glow yellow and place it on the right side of the table. Okay, I can examine. This test will help evaluate your cognitive abilities. Okay. Pick up. Uh, to the right side, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. We shall do one more test. What Please is follow me. No, what is this? Encephaloscan. Uh, last scan person Nolan. Can I do this? Hmm. Apparently not. Can I run? Okay, I can run. Okay. Who is this? I guess... I guess my son, right? It's my son? Exactly. What's his name? James. James. Very good. Where is James? Is he here? You've already asked about your family. Just now. Don't you remember that? Where is he? It's just a test, Richard. James is a good kid. I love him. Of course you love him. You are his father. Do you get along well? Richard? He's a good kid. Do you know this person? Probably my wife, right? That's... <laughs> yes? My uh, secret affair, Jennifer. My wife. What if... Jennifer. Uh, I, w I will say Jennifer in the assumption that this is the name of my wife. That's Jennifer? No. What?! Okay, but, but why, why the specific name Jennifer? You know what I mean? Why? 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 <laughs> okay, uh, then it's my wife, yeah. That's Tracy. Excellent. <laughs> Tell me about her. What do you mean? Tell me anything about your wife. A memory, a story, 
anything. I know that we were... were in a cab. It was nighttime. We were choking around. I took Tracy's hand. Keep going. The... onboard systems were malfunctioning. It... it got colder. The windows got foggy. I told her we were almost there. Okay. Do you know how long ago this was? What do you mean? This memory. How long ago was it? I don't know. What about this? Do you recognize this building? I mean, is it is it me or um, uh, is this the voice actor from uh, from Witcher? Is this Geralt? I mean, if not, they have uh, they share some some similarities, dude. Uh, it's the voice, and I'm I'm working there, right? Uh, so it's work. Yeah, that I work there. Yeah, sure, it's Excellent, Geralt. Excellent, Richard. Nice. What do you do there exactly? I'm a specialist in in. Oh, wait. I write about technology. Very good. And how would you describe your position on that matter? Do you have one? I'm a journalist. My position is the truth. Ah, that came fast. That's the standard line, right? You must say that all the time. Well, can I go back to work, Doctor? We'll wait and see. You suffer from amnistic confabulatory syndrome. Memory lapses, confusion, mood swings. But when you're home, you will start to feel better. You'll see. Okay, Richard. You're good to go. I feel queasy. It'll go away. Your memory will come back probably within the next few hours. Perhaps not completely. But let's be patient. Well then, I wish you the best. So, I can go? Of course. You've been given neurostabilizers. If you have any problems, contact me. Okay, but I... I don't remember where... Oh, yes, of course. You live at the West Plaza, Mr. Nolan. The cab will take you home. The medic bot at the entrance will escort you downstairs. Medic bot, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I wanted to mention earlier that I uh, saw a preview of this game. Um, quite thorough, though. Um, it was in German. And I can say that... The English synchronization is way better than the German one, even if, uh, even, um, although it's, uh, it's a German, uh, developer. So I don't really like the German synchronization here. I do like them in the other, um, in the other games of, uh, from the developers, but not in this one. Alright, Doctor, can I get my, my pills, you know what I mean? Get some rest. The medic bot will take you downstairs. Alright. I can't. Uh, it's a bit sluggish here. If you wanna, if you wanna run, it's a bit sluggish. Okay. So it's uh, it, dude. It, this looks quite dirty, doesn't it? I mean, look at the the clinic here. It really is very dirty. Okay. There are a lot of people waiting here. I'm gonna talk to some guys. Nope. All right. Good evening, sir. Hello? Follow me. I will escort you downstairs. We'll do that. I like the artwork, man. It's it's cool. This is a news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. There has been yet another bombing at one of Kurt's robotics production facilities. This has been the second attack within the last few days. In Nairobi, tensions remain high as fighting between Eastern and Western drone units continues in the mining region, S destroying large amounts of natural drone resources. Drone units, dude. What? I guess nothing's changed, right? Nothing has changed. your destination. West Plaza, Berlin. Your account has been charged 25 credits. I don't know if that is much or not. I mean, are we are we are we rich? Uh, do we have money? 
So we're working at a journalist. Um, I mean, we can either be be some somewhat rich or sir, please, poor. something to eat. Marcel Inc. is taking applications now. Valid nano scan required. All right, this looks Mars, expensive. Our future. By being a Martian colonist on Red One, you are helping create a new world. Interested? A nano scan takes no more than two minutes. Start afresh. Decide the future. Be a pioneer. Yeah, I guess this is the thing, right? Um, become a, a Martian pioneer in maybe, I don't know, 50 years from now or maybe 100 years from now. I guess I this, see. this would be a real James. thing. Good evening, Richard. I'm Simon, your Base 5 Home Assistant. Today is January 11th, 2048. It is 7.33 p.m., room temperature 20 degrees Celsius. You have no more appointments today. Please forgive me. I powered down yesterday. What the hell? Is everything okay, sir? Can I bring you anything? Tracy! Hmm. All right. Uh, you have new cloud messages. Cloud messages? Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Message box. Cloud call. Lydia, Lydia, Lydia. What is this? Can I do something with this? Richard, are you there? Come on, what's going on? Did something happen? Call me, please. What time is it in New York? She's probably asleep by now. Okay. Uh, January 10th. Richard, this is not funny, okay? Pick up now. Did I do something wrong? Let's at least talk about it. You can't just... Ugh, call me back, please. Otherwise, I won't be able to sleep. I mean, she is a freelancer, so, so it's definitely work-related, but it does sound more... sound otherwise. Um, what if I'm going back here? Need to figure out the, the uh, keyboard setting and everything. All right, uh, Tracy's parents, they're... This contact is currently offline. Ah, okay, and Medicentral is online, I see. All right, let's get back. Uh, what is this? Shards of glass. Potential source of danger, please remove. Hello, bot. Remove it, please. There will be time for this tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Dude, look at the the view here, man. I re I really enjoy these games where you where you uh would watch out the window and there's like these these uh, glowing things everywhere and uh, I mean not not flying flying cars, but they're definitely flying things here. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Window fitted with safety glass. All right. Okay, this looks really, really futuristic, man. All right. Uh, anything else? Uh, bat. I can examine it. Okay. I mean, is, is there any uh, thing interesting? I will uh, just read it out. The the, the movement is a bit uh, odd. Okay. Cannot really talk to this guy. Tracy, what is this bot doing here? I told you. If you like, I can answer that question. You shut your mouth. <laughs> okay. Talking about a bad mood, dude. Clean bot. Warning, this device is malfunctioning. Oh. Okay, so this is the room of James, I presume. A Game Boy? He has a Game Boy, look at this. Nice. Okay. I mean, there's not really that interesting stuff here. Picture. Okay, interact. James is our son, Richard. Sir? <sighs> okay, so there was definitely some problems. The Voice news, turn on. This is a news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. In Berlin, there has been yet another bombing at one of Kurt's robotics production facilities. Bombing? This has been the second attack within the last few days. What's this guy doing here? 
In Nairobi, tensions remain Tracy, high as I want this thing to disappear. If I may speak, sir. In the mining region, destroying sir, large amounts of you don't want resources. to know where your family is. The smoke from multiple burning oil wells caused visibility in the okay. region to decrease Wait a minute, to I'll almost I'll just turn it off here. It's a bit annoying. Turn off. All right, let's uh, investigate any further here. Go move. Uh, what is this? Nano scan report. Genetic defects. Okay. Tracy Nolan, female. A nano scan? That Mars nonsense. Can't she listen to me for once? So is she? Uh, is she uh, volunteering to go to to Mars with his son? Maybe. I'm t I talk to him in a minute. Huh. Almost empty. Right. Um, let's have a look at the family photos first. So my 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 kind of play style is that I always. It's a wonderful family, sir. You think? You should take good care of them. Yeah, that I always look around, see if there's anything interesting here, and I I don't rush things like other people who want to complete uh, complete games in. Uh, like five hours when there's uh, content for like uh, I don't know 15 hours or so I don't like that bicycle okay dude this uh this flat is, is huge cloud hub your entry to the cloud the device is registered looks cool man award for what Outstanding journalistic work, and I'm covering the Dronegate affair. Dronegate, uh huh? That looks interesting, sir. May I ask who created those records? Walter, my ex-partner. Why are you asking? Those are some complex structures. He is intelligent. He was. Is he dead? I do not have any information about that. I apologize, sir. No, he's not dead. This stuff here made him crazy. And now he hates me. I do not understand, sir. No. How would you? I came out on top. He didn't. That's about the gist of it. It was so awesome that they acquired the voice of uh, Geralt. How cool is that? Uh, okay, let's talk to this guy. Okay. Tracy. Where is Tracy? Mrs. Tracy is not in. Yes, I can see that. She wanted me to inform you that she went to her parents for the weekend. Oh. Wanted to inform me. Fine. She can stay there. Dude, he is uh, very grumpy. Um, let's talk about our son. What about James? Oh, she took him with her, of course. Correct, sir. They'll be back tomorrow morning. Should I give you a status update? You should do nothing. Did Tracy say why she went to her parents? How do you mean, sir? What was her reason? She only told me to be here for you. Okay, hey, knowledge? Did Tracy ever visit me in the hospital? Does she even know that I had an accident? I can't say anything about that, sir. You can't, or you don't want to. I don't understand, sir. <laughs> exactly. Completely useless. Dude, this is a machine. Simon. Who gave you a name anyway? Okay, so he definitely does, doesn't uh, like, uh... Lydia's still awake. Like, uh, machines. Okay, Lydia's online. Uh... I can call her. Not as long as that bot snooping around. Oh, uh, okay. So, you really hate it. Alright, um... Let's uh, investigate some further. Spin it. Do you not want him to be happy? Alright, so Everything his... okay? No. Son was is really gifted. Uh, wait, what? Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm really not, not a musician. Um. Yeah, I can still talk to him. I guess uh, we can investigate everything. Then we uh, get our memory back, maybe. James beat me at chess. He's a clever boy. And very adorable. What do you know about that? I play chess at a very high level, sir. The base five model... You have absolutely no idea what adorable even means. I like your son a lot, and he likes me. You're a pile of junk. 
Nothing more. How rude. Uh, what is this? Calibration key. Please follow the operation and maintain maintenance manual. Um, okay. It's for the uh, for the robot here, for the android or whatever. No, it's it's not an android, it's a robot. World map. Okay. So this is the world map, looks exactly the same, right? More or less. Everything looks so futuristic. I really like like those those kind of uh, kind of flats. Food assembler. Dude, I can make food here? Would you like me to assemble you a meal, sir? I can do that myself. Of course you can, sir. I'm just trying to lessen your workload. That's what I'm here for. Okay. Let's see, what can we the make? The following ingredients are missing to assemble this product. Honey, wheat, palm oil. Ah, ah so palm oil is still a thing, yeah? Alright. Good old rainforest. Uh, drawing. Your son sends his regards. He drew you a picture. I helped him a little. Really? Hmm. Apartment door, so I can leave? Okay. It's a very good security system. Yeah, so, um... What am I going to do now? There is something there. Wait a minute. Oh no, it was this. Alright. No, this here. Books. Okay. Upgrade recommended. Yeah, so what am I going to do now? Um. Yes, sir? You know what? Shut yourself down until tomorrow. As you wish. Okay, so... He's just uh, going to do that? I mean, yeah, sure, he has to obey, right? Alright, now he is uh, offline and this looks really uh, cool. Looks like uh, Palpatine. <laughs> like a dark Sith Lord. Alright, um, I can call uh, Lydia, was it, right? Richard! God, I was so worried. Where were you? I was in the hospital. What? Oh, why? Are you sick? Why didn't you tell me? Uh, I had an accident. I had an accident, I think, on the M75. Something went wrong with the electronics. Oh god, are you hurt? My head took a bit of a beating. Otherwise everything's fine. You could have been killed. I wouldn't have even known. It can't go on like this. I know. You have to speak to her. Lydia, I've just come out of the hospital. And Tracy isn't here anyway. Really? Where is she? She went to her parents. She took James with her too. She's bought a bot. Can you imagine? I have a bot now. Me of all people. <laughs> oh. Why are you laughing? She got you a bot? That's nasty. <laughs> what is she doing at her parents' place? I don't know, man. He's probably annoyed of uh, Big Old Grumpy here. Rant about Tracy? Shrug. Rant about Tracy? I mean, he's ranting about everything, so let's give it a shrug, man. What do I know? Did she leave because of that argument you had? Argument? Yeah, you're... A week ago? You complained about that for hours? <laughs> no idea. The past few days are still a bit of a blur. Do you think she wants to leave? <laughs> What's wrong? Are you scared? Scared? No, why? So why won't you say anything? Because I need to think. Fine. You don't need me for that. Sweetie. No, it's Sweetie. fine. And anyway, I have another customer. At this hour? It's lunchtime in New York, Richard. I told you I'm no longer working nights. Too many creeps. Get some rest, and remember, if you ever need to talk, you have a bot now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, um... Okay, it's fading to black. Didn't quite get it uh, if the game autosaves or if I have to save manually. I mean, if I even can save manually. Please don't open the door until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Hold on tight. Oh, God. 
wait a minute. So Tracy was in, in the car with us, right? She isn't at her parents. What? She was definitely in our, in our car. What is this mystery? Aquamarine. Or a faded turquoise. Or a spectrum. Is that possible? Whatever you wish, Doctor. However you imagine it to be. It's Ray. I have to go. Keep me informed. Of course, Mrs. Newman. Oh, this is another character. Ah, there's our patient. You just missed your wife. Uh, okay. So I'm playing A more bit than... less days than yesterday, Mr. Newman. Uh, Adam. Looking at you, I see nothing but a piece of art. Your pulse is uneven, but it's expected. Your medication. Otherwise, do you remember the accident now? Remember the... No? Yes. Yes. The cab. It'll all come back, don't worry. Any questions? Don't forget, you can call me at any time. Uh, okay, let's let's ask a question here. What about my son? John. Is he okay? John. Your son will need to come in for regular examinations for a while. But there's nothing to concern yourself with. There are quite these similarities, right? Uh, he asked about his son and his wife. His son is John, James. Hmm. And Amy? She's fine. She wasn't in the car. Ah. Right. Did you think she was in the car? No, maybe. I'm still a little confused. Hmm. That's bad, right? No, no, do not worry. I'm just noting it down. Memory loss is a common post-trauma phenomena. Okay. We push these experiences into dark corners of the brain and then come up with conspiracy theories. And yes, you were alone in the car. Right, about the accident. The electronics suddenly started playing up. You were incredibly lucky, my friend. The car is a wreck. Not too fond of flying, hmm? I mean, uh, who rides a cab these days? It must have been the electronics. Now, don't go jumping to conclusions, Newman. Leave that to the experts. In fact, don't make any conclusions. Not in your state. Just relax. No more questions? Very well. If you wish, you may get up. No sports, lots of water, and if you have any problems, you have my number. Don't you worry. Minerva will gently guide you through your day. Minerva? Oh, and please take your son to the clinic as soon as possible. Your wife had to go to an appointment. We expect him daily at 10 in the morning. Minerva reminds me of uh, the early Assassin's Welcome Creed. Welcome back, Adam. The world. Games. The world. All right, guys. Please. I think I will call the day here. Um, it's uh, it's a very interesting star. So we are not playing one but Arms two characters. Floating. They share quite the similarities, I have to say. Right and um, yeah, it's a kind of a slow start. We're getting introduced into the characters, into the li into the lives, into the world um, itself. And uh, I mean, this looks quite different than than the uh, the apartment from the path, the from Richard. It looks uh, very very bright and, uh, and colorful here. Yourself. So yeah, I'm very interesting in, uh, interested in the story and how it plays out. I hope you Infinity. guys as well. And um, yeah, you can hit the comment and uh, you can tell me what... Uh, oh, a Game Boy as well, huh? A circle. You can uh, tell a me what do you think about the game. Did you already saw a preview? And um, yeah, we see each other in the next episode of State of Mind. Take care.